Yeah, yeah. It just it's just yeah. a nice little one. <laughs> when we started talking, I called you collectors. I don't think we describe ourselves as collectors. Yeah. We just happen to like things, and if we can afford them, we buy them. Yeah, I mean, we do we do collect things, but um, you know, not not as a, a strategy. I mean, art is on a different level for us. It's uh, of the soul. I think, in a funny way, it, it sort of tipped the switch to looking at things, as opposed to sort of looking them, at them but not seeing them. But it's very easy to dismiss something that looks childlike. On, on a sort of a cursory glance. But if you look at it properly, you know, they're, they're sort of magical. She's like a baby. She is, I mean, she's treated like one really, I suppose. But I remember having a conversation with somebody who worked in a gallery in St Ives and um, remembered a lot of things we'd bought in the early days and said, why don't you sell them and enjoy yourself? Yes, and enjoy yourself, absolutely. You could have some lovely holidays. Why don't you sell them and have a good time? I miss them. Yeah, mm. very much so. I mean, it's they're, they're a holiday in themselves, really. What do you think you get out of picking a pot up that you don't get from looking at it's it? It's very tactile, a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, they're sort of yeah. voluptuous, and, and, you know, you can sort of... you can appreciate the sort of weight of them and, and, and the form of them. For me, illusory just has something that yeah. nobody else comes near to. And then there's the younger generation of ceramic artists, people like Sarah Flynn. Craig Yacheson, we adored him as a person. I remember him sitting on the sofa where I'm sitting, looking at his works and demanding that they were rearranged and the yeah. portrait should always be in the middle. And so we yeah. had a, a rehanging to please him. Yeah. When he left, we, we put it back how, put we, it wanted back to how we wanted it. <laughs> If you do manage to sort of meet the creator and perhaps even become friends, it does add another wonderful dimension. Trevor Bell. That's nice. I'd like to see Trevor. Trevor. In Cornwall. But what was it? The worst piece of art you've ever bought? The worst painting, painting the worst you've, you've ever bought. bought. Rose Holton. Almost like one of her paintings. That's Terry. I love that okay, picture so much. It's lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Sarah, Sarah Lynn. Lynn, yes. You sort of get their character and foibles and failures and nuances and you can sort of see where they're coming from. I think it's very sad when works of art become a commodity. It's the market now that determines their value. It's a nice thought to think that um, a lot of people will see them for what they are, not for sort of what they're worth. And I think had we left them to one of the big national London-based galleries, they probably wouldn't have seen the light of day. Wakefield, it's a smaller collection, and hopefully they will be on view more frequently. Yes. It gives a sort of a human perspective to them. You know, that there's been sort of one, one sort of section of their existence that's, that's been in somebody's house, in the dining room or in the sitting room. They're there whilst you're watching TV and all that. We've enjoyed them all our lives, and when they go elsewhere, they go elsewhere, and what happens to them happens to them. We just hope that they're cared for. Yeah, it's like you say, I suppose they, they live another life once. Mm. They do, yes, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. They're only hours whilst we're here, Quite. and we're just caretakers in a way. Yeah.